give and it will come back to you good measure press down check it together and running over give and it will come back to you when you give you give to the lord that's right when you give you give to the Lord. Come on, boys and girls, let's sing. When you give, you give to the Lord. Uh, hi, boys and girls. Welcome to day one of week 44, Kids Daily Devotion. Let's get right into our lesson today. And remember, I am Auntie Rashida, so let's get right into it today, boys and girls. All right. Our scripture reading for today is from 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7, and our memo verse is Romans 5, verse 1. Our scripture reading for today is from 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7. We'll first read from the New International Reader's Version. Each of you should give what you have decided in your hearts to give. You shouldn't give if you don't want to. You shouldn't give because you are forced to. God loves a cheerful giver. The King James Version reads, Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly, or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver. Here endeth a portion of God's holy words. Let's honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. Okay, boys and girls. Let's get right into what we have just read. Let's explain what's going on there. You see right here, Paul challenged the believers in Corinth to give to one another, especially to those who are in need. Paul told them, when we give with a good heart, when we give not boasting, when we give cheerfully, God loves it. God loves a cheerful giver. We don't have to give all because we have it. We don't have to give all because we are rich. We don't have to give all because we want to be seen and to be hailed the kind person. But we give with a pure heart. We give knowing that we are giving someone who is in need and that God is getting glory from it. It doesn't make any sense, boys and girls, to give and you want the whole world to see you for all that you have to offer. But think of it this way. God loves a cheerful giver. And once you're giving with your whole heart, it doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be food. It could just be your time. So boys and girls, imagine being in your class and a friend of yours is crying or mumbling over something and you give them that time, just a listening ear, and to talk to them or even to encourage them. That's giving your time and God loves it. Don't just listen all because you want to hear what's going on. Once you can help that person by praying, or go to someone that's older who can assist with what's happening. God loves that. Once you're doing, cheerfully giving. Once you're giving with a pure heart. And once God, he's getting glory from it. He loves it. And he cherishes it. My boys and girls, give cheerfully. For God loves a cheerful giver. So give and it will come back to you. Good measures, press down, shake it together and running over. Give and it will come back to you. When you give, you give to the Lord. Yeah! When you give, you give to the Lord. Oh! When you give, you give to the Lord. Yes, boys and girls, when you give, you give to the Lord. Okay, it's time for us to apply what we have just learned today. We bring glory to God when we give with a happy heart. As you find and circle the matching pair of gifts, think about giving with a happy heart. Okay, boys and girls, for those with your daily reading book, you can just go and complete the activity. And for those without your books, you can write... Why it's important to give cheerfully 
and also look at your screen and find the matching box. You can even write down the numbers next to each other and complete your activity. Okay, boys and girls, that's it for today. Let's say this part together with your hands clasped and your eyes closed. Heavenly Father, please help me to give with a happy heart. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for day two of week 44. When you give, you give to the Lord. When you give, you give to the Lord. When you give, you give to the Lord. Bye. Our memory verse is taken from Romans 5, verse 1. We'll first read from the King James Version. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The New International Reader's Version reads, So, we have been made right with God because of our faith. Now, we have peace with Him because of our Lord Jesus Christ.